It's Ohay from Jinga and GrowStrong.com and today I have a beginner's tutorial for the beating bow. Now remember that there's three different types of beating bows and there could be more. When I traveled to Brazil they told me about a super big one but let me t I'll get to that here momentarily. First let me tell you about uh, the, the, the highest pitch one. The highest pitch one is called the viola and it's it's like the solo guitar okay and it has okay, the smallest cabasa, which is, which is this hollow out board here. And the beating bow is, of course, composed of uh, a biriba stick, kind of like a bamboo that they chop and that we, we culture and that they treat. They shave it and, and they treat it. And the arami, okay, which a lot of time could be an, uh, um, the radial from a tire, used to be cat gut or monkey gut or something like that. Okay, but now they use a lot of, they could use piano string. But it's got to be some kind of wire string, okay? And of course, a little rope to keep it all in. So how do we play it? And it's done with a rock, a pedra, a uh, caixuchi, which is like a, a little basket full of little beans to make a shaker. And of course, a stick, what they call a baqueta, okay? And if the note is changed by hitting and fretting, okay, with the rock on and off and dead note. Get to that here momentarily. First, let me talk like I was talking about the viola is the highest pitch one. Then there's the viol, I mean, sorry, the medjo. Okay. Medjo is a medium sized chord and it's usually like the rhythm guitar. Okay. And as we keep getting lower in tone, the next is the gunga. Gunga, of course, okay, it's a lighter, and it's verga, it's called a verga, I know it sounds funny in Spanish, this does not mean that, but in Portuguese, okay, they call that the verga, the cabasa, arami, caixi, and baqueta, oh yeah, dobral, or uh, pedra, okay, and this is the lowest one, since it's the heaviest, uh, biggest, it cultures the deepest sound, and the, usually it's the lighter weight, um, verga. So also there's a, there might be a bigger one than this that they call the Beha Boy. Or the Beha Boy, sometimes they just call the Goomba, whatever whatever they're gonna play, okay? But if you hear that if you hear that term, Beha Boy, um, that's what they're talking about, is a fat Goonga. Okay? So let's get to, to playing it. Okay, so let me uh, let me talk a little bit about the tuning before we go on. Okay, so one of the ways that I was taught and that I learned what sounds really good is they're tuned to thirds. Okay, so if you listen to it, this is the deepest. Going up, okay, so the boy or the gunga, mejo, and then finally the highest pitch is uh, the viola. So, and that's those are the ways that I know how to do it. There may be other ways to tune it, and that's fine and dandy, okay, but let's go ahead and move on to um, the actual playing of it. And for now, we all just use one of these other ones. All right, just step off camera here momentarily, but. Here we go. So there's three notes. Open. And let me get rid of this because it's kind of noisy for the camera. So let me just hit it clean. Open. And look how I'm carrying this before, we move, before I move on to the next note. Pinky here. I'm not just carrying everything with my pinky. That's one of the support mechanisms. But I am also grabbing it with my fingers and, I'm, and my palm here. Okay, so it takes a little practice. And there's some exercises that you could do like making sure that you could go left, forward, right, okay, back and forth, and it builds the strength and your balance. If you can't do that, you can do this on your on plate like this, okay, but don't go cross-eyed, because you will, somebody's going to do that, but it helps to support it, support the weight of the beating bow. Okay, so there's open, there's fretted, which is on or closed note, and probably one of the harder ones, okay, is, okay, the dead note. And it's like a pick scratch on a guitar, and it's it's very it's the it's night it's not on nor off. It's right in the middle, just enough to deaden the note. So I recommend some exercises. 
There's a couple other mechanisms or notes that we call it, um, like hammer on, pull off, and there's also a donf, which is a hammer on to dead note, and then also the the dead note to off. Or so you can play with those as you'll see through the different rhythms. Today I'm going to go over Salbento Grande de Angola because this is one of the more popular rhythms that's played in contemporary groups. Contemporanea, group, you know, grupos de capoeira contemporanea, and also in Angola, okay, they play it. So it's one of the more popular ones if you're playing a contemporary group. If you're playing in a bimba group, Hejonaji Bimba, you can learn Hejonaji Bimba, and I'll do another tutorial over that. But for today, we're going over Salbento Grande, okay? So it starts with dead, dead, on, off. Dead, dead, on, off, off. So. So that's how you play it. Let me give you a few tips. When you whip, don't hit it in the middle of the stick here. It's very dull. Try to hit it at the edge of the stick so you can use your, your wrist to whip it. Okay. Also keep, don't only hit it like in this little area so you keep a consistent sound instead of going okay, where it's all over the place. All right, also let me give you another tip on some of the transitionary, uh, when you're not that good, you could, it's gonna sound like this. And that's not it, but that's something that you could work on when you could start practicing. So, but remember in reality, dead, dead, on, off, off. Practicing guys and we'll see you in the next video. Jinga and grow strong. And don't forget to Jinga and grow strong. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.